<laughs> What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here and welcome to the Paradise C6 YouTube channel. Today we are gonna be working on the Corvette, getting these front panels on. As you can see, I already have them test fitted. I was gonna put these on yesterday, but literally right as I brought the box out and started uh, unboxing it, it started to downpour. So instead of bringing it back in, I just literally just, they're just chilling here. They're not doing anything crazy. Um, like, uh, like on the rear panels, none of the holes are actually drilled out. So we're gonna get all these drilled out, get them ready, get the hardware ready, um, get the alignment uh, lined up. Just like the, the rear, these are fitting almost perfectly just the way they sit. They do have little edges on them and stuff that you probably can't, oh no, you can pick it up in the camera, um, that we are gonna have to sand down. But I'm realistically, I'm only bolting these on and uh, just getting them set up so I know that they fit well. And then we'll go back on another day, probably when the garage is up, when we're gonna get ready to paint these. We'll take them off, finish up any little uh, imperfections, get them prepped for paint. And then uh, we'll disclose what color it is, it's gonna be. But goal for today, so I don't have, cause I don't have too much crazy time to do, get everything done, is just to get all the fenders uh, bolted up, maybe the inner parts in, in there as well. And then hopefully I'll have time to get the bumper on, but if not, we'll make a second part and. Uh, Get the whole front end assembled but let's uh let's get everything opened up and get some tools out and then we'll dive right into uh bolting these fenders up all right guys so got drill 13 16 um it's slightly bigger than the actual uh screws that go into here the torque screws that we used um reason being i just want a little bit of adjustability and on all the panels just like the lat the rears got these little indentions for the uh where they mount up to so i'm going to get them probably dead center and then if i need to adjust it either way i can drill either side but uh, i'm going to do these while this is up and then i'll pull back because you do have the one in here that bolts right there you have the two underneath here that bolt right there and then i want to say yep yeah, these uh these right here with the fenders um the little like splash guards that go here uh bolt in so we'll figure out where those sit, cut those out. There's one bolt that goes here, and then there is, which it did come with a new one, which I was a little bit of surprised about, is there's a bracket that's uh, on the old fenders, and that's what goes right here. There's two holes right here and here, and that's what sits into here, and you screw the front bumper on. I am gonna have to break these clips right here so I can get these to put on the new bumper that I have and I'll show you guys that when I pull it out and get that all prepped but I did notice when I was under here too that this is kind of broken this is the uh, radiator support I'm gonna order a it's like a billet aluminum one it's a little bit stronger got better mounting points and stuff so that'll eventually get replaced too but that'll be another day so let me start uh, drilling out all these holes I'll probably throw this into a time lapse and uh, We'll get this side uh, bolted up.
All right, guys, so we have the first fender, at least the top part, mounted up to where I like it with the body lines. Everything's fitting good, as like I said before. As you can see, the hood line is almost perfect. I don't have the hood all the way closed, otherwise it'd, it'd be the same here. But as you can see, I, I could deal with that body line, body gap right there. And as I said, this edge will get cleaned up a little bit more because it is rough. So once I sand this down and prep it for paint, that'll look a lot better because I do have to take some material off of this as well. But the reason I, uh, I bolted down the top is I like where that's sitting. And I'm getting, it's touching the door as I open it right here. I know you guys noticed I was opening the door a lot. There's the bolt that's in the inside of here. So now that I have that locked down, I like where that sits. I'm gonna do some adjusting on this and these bottom ones to make this gap look a lot better and then just get it in nice and tight. I might actually, as if uh, we open up the door, you can see in here. I don't like the way that that is, uh, that is cut. So I might actually, just for now, grab a, a rough piece of sandpaper and just clean up that corner because that's really what's catching right there. And uh, yeah, so let me do some fine adjustments and see if I have to do a little bit of sanding. And then uh, this one will pretty, be, pretty much be locked down because it's just got that one bolt in here. There's three under here. And then you got the two that go here and one that goes right here. And uh, all those connect to the fender liner. So once I have that in, um, we'll be pretty much done with this side. So let me, um, let me start fine tuning and adjusting that one that's back there. And then I'll show you that and then was what I didn't mention too is um, so this upper hard fender is attached to the body and there's not much you can really do about this gap but what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take this flat piece right here that's coming down I'm gonna cut this right here so it's flat here and then I'll get a piece of uh, like ABS plastic a flat piece and maybe uh, we'll, we'll uh, tap it right into the end and here and just get the fender flare to go all the way out so it's just giving this right here a little bit of uh, more support not that it needs it this is pretty strong as it sits right here and I don't have it bolted up but I don't want stuff getting all up inside of there either so we'll get that all cleaned up and then uh, figure that out too so but let me uh, let me get this fine adjustment right here and get this uh, bolted up and uh, check in with you guys after that all right guys so it's going a little bit quicker than I thought it was um, I got the inner fender liner on. This is uh, pretty simple. It's two clip-ins and then one bolt on the bottom and then two um, screws with clips that go to the fender itself. Uh, I tightened up the inside one that's inside of there. When I was doing that, I was actually pulling this out so I can get a better alignment on here. And then I did have to, right in here, I took a file and I just trimmed this up slightly just because it was just touching this. It wasn't bad, but it was just touching it just a little bit and I just wanted to get good clearance. So as you guys can see, when I shut the door now, it is almost a perfect gap. It is a little bit off in the top and things need to be cleaned up like right around here. But for just a rough mock-up, this this is actually a million times better than I thought it would be. These uh, This wide body kit is Definitely the way to go, especially seeing that it's uh, like a, almost a quarter of the price of a stock um, front fenders. The biggest expense with uh, the Z06 is because this is carbon fiber from the factory and uh, they're just really fucking expensive from the factory. So, but yeah, uh, altogether the fitment is good. I just gotta go get those two brackets and I'll do the front uh, alignment when I do the uh, front bumper. Cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually get to it today. Yeah, I just gotta check what time it is. I don't even know what time it is right now, but I'm basically just gonna do everything I did on that, on this to the other side and uh, I'll time lapse it so you guys can see how everything goes. It, it If I didn't stop um, a few times just to double check stuff because I didn't know exactly where things went and what screws went to what because I didn't label anything. I just took it all apart and threw it in a big ass uh, cup as you can see right here. Just all the pieces are just scattered apart. So just figuring it out. It only took me like 30 minutes, but if I knew exactly what, what went where and how it went, it probably would have only took me 20 minutes even with uh, trimming this up. But uh, yeah, so it's definitely it's definitely smarter to go with the um, the quarter inch to drill out the holes 
just so it gives you that little bit more of adjustability. Um, when I, the reason I have the uh, the 13 sixteenths, I think it was, what the hell, 11 16. Yeah, 13, oh, 13 64s. Uh, that I had the 1364 on is because um, this fender liner thing here has uh, slits that have to be pushed in with push pins. And um, I just uh, drilled a hole and then just walked it down just to get the, the slit that it needs for this to fit in. That's why I have that on there. And then it's pretty simple after that. Two, uh, there's one 10 mil bolt, uh, the two seven mils and then push pins and you're all, you're all together. So. Let me uh, set you guys up. We'll time lapse the other side, get the other side done, and then I'll check and see what time it is and see if we have time to put the bumper on. But I'll probably bring it out and test fit it, just see what it looks like. And then uh, we'll probably finish this stuff up tomorrow. guys as you can see we got both fenders on i brought the uh bumper out here just to test fit see how things uh look and how things are going i still have to take everything off of this bumper and put it on here and see what i need i was test fitting this because the uh the kit that i bought from them didn't come with the front inner fender liners i'm guessing because it has to do with the front bumper mostly not with the fenders um this bottom portion fits this um just there's like a three inch gap when this thing's on and i'll show you guys in the video that i make when i um install the front bumper and the remaining pieces but i think just to save a little bit of money for now until like maybe source these used i'm just gonna get it like a like i said with the top part get a piece of uh abs plastic and just go all the way up and uh just do two screws on each side so this way it'll have screws holding it in here and uh, in here on the inner fender for that one there. So we'll get that uh, put in and mounted, but. It was the same thing on this side, the two clips you saw there. This one, the inner fender liner was a different than the other side. And I'm guessing that has to do something with the dry sump that 
usually is mounted in that corner because there's nothing here. And then let me show you on this one. This one, it's got this little divot here and that's why I wasn't able to get two of the screws in on the bottom. But I'm gonna figure something out because I definitely wanna make this just a little bit stronger. Um, and I might end up cutting this off. The wheels and tire package that I got doesn't fit because I did get a massive wheel and the biggest tire I could possibly put on the front of this. So yeah, I think that's about it. I'm super excited that we got this far. I can't wait to get the wheels and tires. I do have to get brakes as you can see. There is no pad left on here whatsoever. I uh, definitely rode these till they didn't need them anymore. And it's just getting to like that signal weird wear thing where it's got like a little uh, piece of metal that lets you know that you're getting down low. So it's gonna be time to get new pads and rotors up front. And I'm definitely gonna do the back anyway. Um, I will be upgrading the Z06, to the Z06 brakes eventually. But I don't mind buying the stuff for this because I'm going to keep these for another project that's going to be coming to the channel as well. So these brakes will get used on another car. So I don't mind spending a little bit of money. And you can see this side's even worse. It's got a crack right there for that radiator thing. And that's busted off right there. So it's like not really doing much on this side. So that's going to have to get replaced soon. And uh, yeah, other than that, super excited. Everything fit well. The fitment is damn near perfect for almost a quarter of the price i cannot complain it's definitely going to need some finessing to get uh certain things to look a little bit better and uh i don't i don't mind putting a little bit of work actually it makes me feel like i did a little bit of something on this when uh when you buy like oem stuff it's going to fit better if you can afford it buy it but uh i like to save a little bit of money because this build's already costing a lot of money as it is so Super cool, super happy about the fitment. Still gotta bolt a couple things up, but we will end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did because I'm super happy the way this thing's coming out. Uh, the next one will be the bumper and we'll finish everything and we'll be off jack stands again. So it kind of sucks working outside as you guys can see. It looks like it's about to rain. I'm gonna go to the gym, clean up, get all this fiberglass off me. I'm itchy as hell right now, but if you did like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. If you got any comments on anything where I bought this stuff or anything that I missed on the install or anything like that, just let me know. I'll answer any questions you guys got. But other than that, I'll talk to you all later. Peace.